able to avoid all of that and now runs in third position. Jody Ridley comes down to receive the white flag. The white is out for Jody Ridley. Let's follow him around on his final lap. You can imagine what's going through this young man's mind. He keeps the car in the middle of the racetrack. He knows that he is less than three-fourths of a lap from victory and doesn't want to do anything that might jeopardize that win. Down the back stretch. A tremendous race, Dick. Oh, indeed it was. And if you wonder about enthusiasm, when Jody Ridley came down to take the checkered flag, he was pounding on the door of his car with his left hand. He was so excited. He's now coming into the area of victory lane. His crew with their hands up in the air. The grandstand is all standing. No one is leaving this grandstand. That's they right. are all standing, waving at Jody Ridley, applauding. Everybody is pleased for him. The crew hops onto the car, at least as many of them as they can get onto the car. It's a short drive from his pit area to victory lane and this has got to be one of the biggest moments in Jody Ridley's life he has never won a grand national event before this is number one and he came in as an underdog this car is not heavily financed but he gives it his best shot and here he is we'll have an interview with the winner from Ned Jarrett when we return in a moment Jody Ridley wins the Mason Dixon 500 we'll be back at Dover in just a moment White flag this time by for Ken Schrader, the Missouri driver who has never won a Winston Cup race. Anything that looks like a checkered flag will be good for him. Elliott dropping back a little bit to get his running start as he goes down into turn one. Letting that four take a deep breath, and here comes Elliott on the charge, going into the last lap. Elliott swings high. Going for turn one, Elliott on the high side, last lap, Schrader throws the block. Turn one of the 200 miles an hour. It's wide open to the finish now. Here's where he has to make the move, Cam, but Kenny Schrader is doing a good job of using the racetrack in front of him, but now he has to make the move now as he goes down the back straight. Schrader Let's drops to the inside of the track there to try and shake him off. A trick we've seen done many times here before. Good move. Here comes Elliott, high side, looking on the high side, going all the way to the top. Coming down for the finish, Raider on the bottom at number 90. Bill Elliott on the outside, coming down to finish the first 125. Elliott's there. Here comes Schrader back for the line. They're still side by side. It looks dead even. I think Schrader made it. Schrader made it. Schrader may have taken it by it. We'll have to look at that and replay. Schrader on the bottom of the track. Elliott had him 100 feet from the line. Incredible finish. Incredible indeed, both to Ken Schrader and his owner, Judy Dunleavy. Dunleavy has been coming here for 38 years to Daytona Racing. Now let's see it in replay, and we'll see if he really did win it. Elliott seems to have the advantage about 100 yards away, but Schrader then cuts to the inside of the racetrack where he can get the most speed and just barely gets it by inches. Let's go to victory lane with our colleague, Chrissy Cotterman.